Hi guys, welcome to this video and welcome to this awesome distro ride. Anything you see can be changed and themed and tweaked and it's gonna be beautiful the way you like it. Now, this video is about Ctrl Alt G, is about the possibility, first off, that we have a new way to, to download our stuff. So when you go to the downloads, there is something new here. There is SourceForge, Belnet, Seedhost and the Torrents. Belnet is new. So it's a um, data center where lots of things are being hosted as long as it's open source. And Arclinux is there as well. Now, this is a copy paste. As you see, it's our same layout. It's a copy paste from Seedhost. So that means that I can go a little bit higher up because it's the first month of, or actually the second week of uh, the month, which means AAG is filled. So next week we'll release all these ISOs, but this point in time, we give them already to the general public and ask them to beta test them. So what I'm gonna show you in this video as well is, uh, let's get that one and wait a little bit. So 50 seconds while I'm living in Belgium, this is belnet.be. So it's Brussels for me, which means 30, 40 kilometers, not uh, much more. For me personally, the difference is, is negligible, negligible. Uh, it's still early in the morning. <clears throat> so Seedhuis is in Amsterdam, in the Netherlands. So it's around 200 kilometers away. But in, in speed, download time doesn't mean a thing, right? So either of them would be good, but this is open source, this is free. We don't have to pay for the bandwidth nor the web space. So please guys, the first two, try these guys and let Citos provide our packages because when we do an update, it's actually coming from there. So our repos that you see here, are uh, coming from Seedhost, that's paid. Uh, let's get also the other one for later on maybe, Acklinks D, I'm gonna make two videos. So this video is just about one thing, I'm gonna make a very short one, and that's a clone from this, that's where we start, Acklinx. We make it a little bit bigger. Optical drive, choose a disk file, Eric, downloads, Arclinux, open, start. Voila. And all the rest, all the messages need to be killed. But for the rest, we're booting into BIOS. One more. What I want to show in this video is that we've added, anyway, in the version 21.3.8, right not seven but dot eight which means it's the arclinux iso and it's the arclinux d iso where we have added a new button to our welcome app this new button is actually a graphical user interface to do to change one thing on the fly in the live environment that you're booting from so you can try this out on the arclinux flagship and the arclinux d ISO and the rest next time they will be rolled out on all the bees. What is happening is we have created a new tool called Arclinux Calamaris tool and we had this idea. We could always, and we've made some videos about it, but there are so many videos, right? So there is this tool that goes to the Calamaris modules and partition and you can actually tell Calamaris, look Calamaris, um, I would like to have a particular format system, file system format. Suggested, 101 here, suggested values are x2, old, x3, old, x4, current. Riser, XFS, JFS, BTRFS, all these possible uh, things are possible. And the only thing we do is change this word with this tool save and close and it's changed we are now in btrfs we say no i want to go back to x4 
save and check out check it out it's again x4 so that's for now right we have many ideas still on our head because we have the tool now to change on the fly on the live environment any of these small settings that you might think would like to have this would like to have that and it's uh, an easy way to set it but i am including it via this uh, way since the Arconix Bs won't have it available. So it won't be there. It's only on the Arconix flagship and Arconix D. That we will try it out. <coughs> and the thing is, when you do save it and you carry on, well, the system, Calamaris, has a new configuration in a sense. Now, I'm not gonna install it. I've done it dozens of times, but I just wanna show you one thing and then the video is for me finished. <clears throat> and that's erase disk and he thinks now he knows now he he says okay let's not install an x4 let's do it btrfs and it goes for all the others as well so anything is possible now or you do it manually in here partition.conf or you do it with a nice graphical user interface but not of course when calamars is launched before Calamaris is launched. So now it's saved, close, fine, shut down Calamaris again, boot it up again, and it will reread the parameters that are in the files and it will give you another standard file system. Yeah, not important. JFS. All right, guys, have fun and enjoy the other file systems. Maybe there's one thing I could include. If you are thinking about BTRFS, there are a few tools I would suggest you try out. There is BTRFS, and yeah, I'm, I still don't have a zip, so let's get that in. And the, the proper thing, so you go back, but not in live environment, of course. Afterwards, grub BTRFS, BTRFS. Oh yeah, let's get the databases in databases are in now I can look it up come on zero pacman minus s and then grub btrfs that's one thing time shift is normally installed on our flagship but if on anything else arch links as well you need to have that one and then time shift auto snap those three are a good combo install it enable it and um, well that's a good uh, threesome <laughs> to have installed on your future BTRFS system. I'll make a video later on. Cheers.